Hello, this is Janet live session. Thank you so much for coming. Updates, updates from Canada. Quick. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. I love your comments and everything. Janetrangi.com, Janetrangi on YouTube. It's Janetrangi here on Facebook. I'm doing something on Instagram. I'm not that good. But thank you so much for coming. I know many of you are interested in Canada, so I'll go through the changes. And by the way, let me just start by saying <laughs> they've changed express entry if they invite you for permanent residency be ready 60 days preparation no more 90 days what does it mean i guess they want you there quicker i don't know so you want to make sure if you're one of those people in the express entry that is a big change so i just have to start with that before i even forget so if you're in the express entry program and you're expecting to be invited please keep in mind 60 days you think 60 days is a long time no most of these things before you enter that permanent residency, they want police reports, uh, background checks, employer information. So it's good for you to keep that in mind. Okay. Having said that, scores have dropped again. 357. 357. They invited 6,000 people to apply for permanent residency. And most of these people are in the Canadian experience class. And I don't think I've ever talked about the Canadian experience class. So that's why I'm here today. Okay, because I want us to be part of the Canadian experience class. Because Janet has talked about express entry. Okay, Janet has talked about the federal skill program, which many of you are in there, in or outside Canada. Okay, Janet has talked about provincial nominee programs. But today I want us to introduce the Canadian experience class. So we have to know because it looks like right now they're inviting many of you. And I know more, many of you are watching from all over the world some of you are even here in america and you want to go there so janet is just talking to everyone i get these things i get reviews even from many of you in america i know who now are in canada and you're very happy with janet ranki aren't you okay so i'm talking to everyone here so we need to know more about the canadian classification okay so having said that now that they are, it, it looks like they're taking care of everyone in canada now so some of us when we come and we line up and we are ready when the country is open we'll be there the floodgates will open for us so that's all i'm saying what does it mean for you what does it mean for you okay so having said that the points have dropped 357 that is low 357 that is low okay but they did not choose people in the federal skill program most of these people came from the canadian experience class so how do, how do you get there Basically, that's why Janet does these videos. As you well know, if you go down here, I've taught you how to find a job offer. They have something called working holidays. I don't want to talk about that because most of my followers do not qualify. Now, if you are one of those people from these countries that qualify for the, you know, work holiday programs, you just go there, apply for an open work permit, get that quick experience and enter the express entry. Having said that, let me let me let me explain what the Canadian experience class means. You have to go through the federal experience, I mean federal, I mean the express entry program. And Janet, you say how? Okay. First of all, you have to have Canadian experience. And I'll come to this. Some of you are like, but I'm not there yet. You hold on, hold on. Okay. You have to have one year experience in Canada, working experience. One year, full time paid keywords one year full-time paid you can have some gaps not like the federal uh, skilled worker the first year you have to be continuous working but this one you can have some gaps of three months here and there but you have to have at least one year of working experience when you put in the application okay that one year experience has to be within the past three years before application Meaning, if you put in in 2021, the experience has to be 2018, 19, and 20. Or let's start with 19, 20, 21. So anyway, you have to go backwards and the experience has to be within the last three years. That is the Canadian experience. They do not need a college degree. There is no education requirement. Okay, can we clap to that? Let's clap to that. But there is a caveat. Me, Janet, I just give the information and you go try your luck. Okay. There is no experience. I mean, there is no education requirement. But there is a language requirement. Okay? And who are these people that can go through the Canadian Experience Program? If you followed me for a long time, you know what an NOC code is. If you don't know what an NOC code is, you better know. 
Okay, from now you need to go and know what an NOC code means. Look at your profession and know what your NOC code is, in fact, of head Canada dossier. Okay, so for you to enter this classification, you have to be NOC code O, A, and B. Okay, so you have to be within those O, A, and B. I'm talking to someone, I'm talking to someone. Okay, I'm talking to someone. Go ahead, educate yourself. Don't stay there without papers. You don't know how you'll get your permanent residency. Janet is explaining how. Okay? Classification, NOC code A, O, and B. You have to have language requirements. Okay? The scores in spoken, written, writing, listening skills. Okay? If you're in O and A, at least seven and above. Okay? If you're in classification B, NOC code E or B, then maybe five and above, okay? So those are the things that you need to look at as you're thinking about entering the express entry. And I'm talking to some of you who have gone to Canada and maybe through the, the, the what do we call it? A, a visa, visiting visa or wherever, for some reason you got some work. You can use this to enter the express entry because sometimes if you are not so educated, the express entry can be tricky. You understand what Janet is saying? So, but before you go to express entry, you need to understand how you'll get those points. Because just because you qualify through the Canadian experience class does not mean that you'll qualify through the uh, express entry. The express entry also has its own CRS scores, which you need to understand. But at least you can improve those through experience if you are not educated. Are we on the same point? Okay. Are we on the same point? Just having more experience can probably offset the point of not having enough education. Having family members in Canada, probably that will offset some of those points. So be very familiar with this Canadian classification program. And some of you are saying, oh, I'm going to go and be a, be a student in Canada. If you're a student in Canada, yes, but you cannot use your work permit as uh, experience. If you're on a work permit as a part-time student in Canada, you do not use that experience to use as a Canadian experience class. Okay? Even if you work during the summer, during holiday full time, you cannot count dust toward the classification program. If you are self-employed, you cannot do that either. Okay? So the main points is, the main points are, okay, full time, work, paid. Gaps can be allowed. And by the way, you can work in different uh, professions so long as it adds up to one year. Okay? Now, Having said that, how would you get there? How do you get there? As I said, most of my followers do not qualify for the work permits through the open work permit, through the work holiday, okay, international experience. That is for some of those countries in the South America, Asia, and Europe. We are always disadvantaged, okay? But as we find other ways to get there. And that's why Janet told you, you can always find a job offer, okay? It's not easy, but Janet has gone on this page and explained scroll down or go to janetrangi.com and understand how to find job offers in canada okay if you find an employer in canada and they take you there that is how you'll join some of these things okay a job offer will help you because now if you are now waiting for the federal skill program they are not taking people but be there enter your things in the express entry plan to go to canada as a student janet says you don't just enter the express entry and then you sit there your chances are even better when you get to Canada through other means. But meanwhile, you are doing things that will give you a better chance. But a job offer, okay? Job bank. Job bank. Canada.ca. Canada.ca. You need to go to the job bank and identify those jobs. And Janet went one by one and explained to you that those job offers can be maybe outdated. But you want to go to LinkedIn or you go to the specific website and find out if those jobs are active. But Job Bank, you can go ahead. Some of those employers are allowed to bring international workers. Okay, they have to be registered with the Canadian government that they will bring government, I mean, foreign workers. After they bring, they have to go some, through something called labor certification. What is a labor certification? Labor certification simply means, okay, that the employer has demonstrated to the labor department that they've tried to find a Canadian citizen, they've tried to find a permanent resident in Canada for that job offer and no one has taken it. Once that time elapses, then they can go ahead and file for you a work permit to go to Canada, okay? If you get those things, that's how you are going to end, 
up there. Okay, student visa, of course, it's a big one. Visiting is a big one, but I don't want to talk about visiting because, you know, things are kind of locked out. All right? So we want to take advantage of this express entry. Okay, it looks like anyone in Canada, most people in Canada now, they are having a field day from the title you saw. Field day just means having a good time. They are enjoying themselves. They are succeeding. And Janet says, always prepare for the best. So the, the reason I came here today is to tell you that the express entry points have dropped. But we need to understand who are these people being invited for permanent residency. Okay? These people are, more, are mostly right now in Canada. And can you see how low the points are going? Okay? That means us who are doing the right things, who are on Janet Rangi, and we are preparing. When the gates open, okay, we'll get in. We'll get in, okay? We are waiting for the borders to open. There'll be more announcements. Now you'll be going there and say, oh, that was just Canadian class. You wait until July. July is over. And then they open the border, okay? And then they start inviting people to go to Canada. And you are not prepared. You are not prepared as a student. You are not prepared as, you know, anyone on a conference. You are not even prepared. Nothing. You have not prepared. You've, you know, you've just been listening and not doing anything. And Janet will come back here and explain so many other ways of how people go to Canada. Okay? Are we on the same page? Sometimes my videos can be very complex. Sorry. Okay? Sometimes I come with fun videos, but some I come fact, 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 fact. Boring, but to the point. Boring, but it will bring you success. So I thought I had to update some of my viewers who want to go to Canada. And thank you so much for following. Okay? This one was a quick one. This was a quick one. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions before Janet goes? Basically, Janet is saying you go to Job Bank and find a job offer. <laughs> okay? And watch her videos. JanetRangi.com. Okay? If you're lazy to scroll Facebook, Janet has so many other videos she has done in the past that you can go educate yourself. Go on YouTube, educate yourself. Go to Canada.ca, educate yourself. Opportunities are there. You just have to search for them. It's not an easy road, but other people are just searching like you. Well, no, they didn't know. Janet has woken you up, okay? Okay. Hi, Janet, how can we apply here in Kenya because Hawana green card? What do you mean? The express entry is a Canadian green card, okay? All right. They don't call it green card, but this one is a merit best. Okay, welcome on my page though. Okay, if you want to apply from Kenya, go and watch express entry videos that Janet has done. From beginning to end, go and watch provincial nominee programs, how people go to Canada directly from Kenya. Okay, Janet has done those. Go and watch student visas. Janet has done that. Okay, go watch visiting visa. Janet has done that. Okay, I've not done anything, everything, but I've done uh, Northern Atlantic programs, rural programs that need people, foreigners. Janet has done that. I'll keep doing because some of you are new on this page. And Janet will continue doing this for you. Okay. All right, Janet, can you enter the USA through Canada? Yes, why not? You can still apply for a visa. I'm sure they have a, an embassy there. If you go there, you can go. You cannot live with, without getting the visa. But I guess you can go to the American embassy or, you know, go online or whatever they do. I know if you're in America, if you have, you come to America with a visa, you just go online and you apply for the Canadian uh, visa and you cross from America to, to, to Canada. I always say you have to make sure your papers are correct before you cross any border, even back home. You're not just going to stand up and say, I'm going to Tanzania today. You have to go through the border, my friend. So if your things are not right, you are not going to cross that border, okay? Always make sure if you have questions, you better lie us with a lawyer, okay? Never just cross haphazardly, okay? You want to make sure your papers in America are correct. Your papers from home are correct. Now you're ready for Canada because you're going for greener pastures. But Canada, as a student, even one year, there are ways for you to stay permanently. There are ways for you to stay even as, you know, uh, you know, uh, nannies, not nannies. They used to have uh, in, in living in, you know how they have living people and then they ask for papers. That one it was competitive. Some of those programs open and close, they open and close. But the most for, uh, forward ones Janet has talked about, okay, in summary, Janet has talked about express entry. And the things you need to do to enter express entry. And Janet has been talking and it has made a difference. Okay? Janet has taught you how to go to Canada. I've gone on the website, canada.ca, and I've explained step by step how to choose schools in Canada. Community colleges, all that. Janet has done. Janet has gone step by step and uh, uh, explained to you how to go to Canada on a visiting visa. 
Janet has explained how people go through asylum in Canada. People, uh, Janet has explained provincial nominee programs. Janet has explained Northern Atlantic programs, okay? Provincial nominee programs. So there are so many ways for you to go, okay? But today I just wanted to make sure you understand that the points are dropping to me it's good news. For us who are even inside and outside, those who are inside, obviously things are working. Those who are outside, it means when the borders open, they'll be a little bit more desperate, okay? And if we are doing the right things, we are just in line and the sky will open. You remember I tell you, okay, opportunity finds those who are ready. And it's so true, okay? If you're ready, opportunity will find you when you're ready. If you do the right things, opportunities will find you in the right place. And I love you so much for coming. This was a quick one. This is a weekday. I don't expect many people to be watching. But I'll do the major ones on weekends. That's when majority of my people show up in thousands. Okay? They show up in thousands. But today, I'll be doing weekdays so they can also wake up and say, Hey, I better go on Janet Rang and check. She could be having something. Okay? Merci beaucoup. Kwaheri. Shukran. Asante sana. Thank you so much for showing up. Okay? I will see you in the next video. Good luck with Express Entry. Go and read more about the Canadian Experience class. Enter in the express entry. Okay? Did you learn something today? My goal is to leave you better than I found you always. If you didn't know this, now you know. Now you have homework. You are going now to read and dig and go to the trenches. Because you never knew there was something called working holiday. Okay? In Canada. But that does not help us. Most of us it will not. Our countries don't qualify. But Janet goes in and teaches you how to find job offers in Canada. Okay? Canadian experience. If you're in Canada and you're sleeping. No, 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 no. You have a, a Canadian experience. You don't have that education. You can still go in there. Okay. Express entry will be tricky for you, but maybe you have more experience. So, you know, I say this because some of you followed me and you work in Canada. You're like, Janet, I've been working this and this. How do I get permanent residence? I didn't believe it. So I'm talking to so many people. Okay. Don't just think, you know, Janet is just talking to us while in Africa or Janet is, just, no, Janet is talking even for this week I just received a, a testimonial of people here in America now in Canada I have they say Janet I used to watch 10 videos per day and dig 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 sometimes I, I wish I could get to you so you can tell me through one phone call you know sometimes these people they go watch my videos it's too long if they call me and they are successful the same information I just listen to their story ah, yes where did you go to school how old da, 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 da. five minutes I summarized this is the best program for you okay because I'm the author myself okay so for me all these things are in my head so once you when once I assess you in th one minute two minutes you tell me more about yourself I run through my head computer and I give you answers I don't know if you're understanding okay okay I process so quick <laughs> And then I t and you know, but man, many of you don't give up. You still go and watch videos, and then you go and educate yourself. And voila, look, look now, yeah. Even those in America, they are now calling me. They have permanent residency in Canada. As I always say, don't try to go somewhere if you are not sure about your papers. Okay, don't, don't. But many of them are just desperate here, wondering what next. No, we are not gonna be wondering when, when, when. No. Mm -mm. And by the way, one of them after she went to Canada, and now she got papers in America. Like surely. Like like things now just open up. Have you ever realized things open up when you are not ready? Like when you just don't care. That is when things even come in plenty. Okay? I love you so much for, for coming. Okay? Alright. So anyway, yeah, someone says you can't enter now. The borders are closed between the two countries. That's true. They extended up to July 21. Okay, we know that, but some people can still go in. International students can still go. You know, we already discussed who can go in and who cannot. Okay, we already discussed that. You see, my videos are very comprehensive. We can't cover everything. That's why you cannot watch Janet Rangi one video and think you know. Most of the time, you don't. Okay, most of these things are very comprehensive. You have to be watching five, ten videos to even know. Okay, but thank you for that comment. It's true. The borders are closed. We thought we were going to open this, this, this month, but they they postponed until july 21st i think so we'll wait and see we'll wait and see once they open us we are ready okay all right thank you so much have a good night see you next time and see you in the next video love you bye bye